stop giving ugly men a chance. What do you think would happen if a guy made the same video saying- It is day 7,346, and woefully the men and women on TikTok are still fighting over which demographic insults the other more often. Let me just say, as a person who has been called ugly on many occasions in my lifetime, I've been called ugly by women, men, teachers, children, dogs, the 2009 staff at the Pacific Science Center. Let's just put this to bed once and for all. You're all mean. You all got nasty spirits out there, and that's why you're all on TikTok calling other people ugly, downing other people's looks, talking about how other people should be living their lives, who other people should be dating. All the while, you're still single. All the while, you're still not that cute. It does not matter how many houses you investigate, yours still has roaches in it. Every single day I get on here, I see at least one man with his little podcast mic talking about how he doesn't want fat women or single mothers or women who have had sex with more than two people in their entire lives at the age of 28. Meanwhile, these women he's talking about aren't even in his DMs. They don't want him. I don't want him. And then right after that, I'll see a video of some girl who's posting a picture of herself next to her ex like, this is who I settled for. This is who I cried over. Meanwhile... Old girl isn't exactly looking like Kate Upton herself. As a matter of fact, ma'am, let me tell you a little story about a teapot and a kettle. There's a reason why y'all ended up together. Because you know what? At the end of the day, everybody's shallow. Everybody has their preferences and what they like and what they don't like. Some people just feel the need to vocalize it more than others. And let me tell you something. There's nothing in this world uglier than a mean-ass bitch. There is no weight on a scale, height on a ruler, amount of hair on your head, armpits, legs, or otherwise structure of your face that's ever going to make you uglier than some motherfucker who feels the need to get on here and down people to halt their own insecurity or try to make other people feel bad about what they like or what they think is attractive or not attractive. That's just loser shit. Sorry. And as a matter of fact, you know what? I'll never forgive you people because you know what you people made me do? You made me actually go seek out couple TikTok. I've been watching the video. I needed something more uplifting on my feed that gave me more of a faith in the human connection and in relationships. I've been watching Kyle and Brittany go to Disneyland together. I've been watching Jason and Maria go to Malibu Nights 1 and 2 Electric Boogaloo having a great old time. Because it makes me feel better than seeing all of you people fight over stupid shit. It's just, it's so much more warming to my heart. In conclusion, I need you people to do one of two things for me. I need you to either shut the hell up by your own volition, or I need you to walk out into the actual world and go find you a dick or pussy to suck on to stop all your fucking crying. Because I'm tired of hearing it.